got another awesome question coming in, and this leads us to talk about one of my favorite meteorological phenomenons on the planet. Hey, Juliana, are the two waves close enough to interact with each other? Which lets us weather narts talk talk about the Fujiwara effect. <laughs> <laughs> woo, woo, woo. That's what we need too. We need uh, the fish storm like sound effect and and look, and we need a Fujiwara. We do, we do. That would be that would be something. I have not myself uh, at least uh, seen the Fuji like in real time. I guess. Yeah. Um. So yes, technically. So right now, no. But in the for like there, like I said earlier, there are forecast models that are pointing to the potential that they interact with each other. And of course, it'll all depend it, how it shakes out, what that looks like. Will all depend on the strength of the two. Will all depend on you know whether or not maybe we get an organized system out of invest 94l the one farthest to the west so on and so forth but yes the answer is yes they they will eventually be uh, and look to be close enough that they could interact with each other and just to catch you up in case you're not quite as nerdy as we are and maybe you went to parties in high school instead the <laughs> fujiwara effect is when two storms are close enough together they do this adorable little dance around each other and so that that's what if you uh, look it up on satellite there's everyone every time it's ever happened they record the satellite and put it on the internet so if you're interested in the fujiwara effect like we are there's plenty out there to enjoy i don't think these are quite close enough for that and i think they're moving in a more homogenous direction so i don't, I don't think we're going to get it out of these two but it'll be fun yeah. to watch yeah <laughs> of course 